Hi, so my name is Bo from Bohan Guitars and Ukes. Uh, this is a all Tasmanian Blackwood, figured Tasmanian Blackwood tenor Uke 17 inch scale with a beautiful hand rubbed sunburst. Uh, it has Madagascar rosewood fingerboard, goto tuners, mahogany neck, uh, faceted heel, a little bit different to what I normally do, uh, ebony bindings, and a really nice ebony art, art deco bridge, which is the first time I've done that in it. I think it looks really nice. And it certainly adds to the overall design, which was to have these shapes here and here. Um, it sounds as good as it looks, I must say. Um, I'll give you a demonstration of the low notes, the high notes, and everywhere else. Very long sustain.
But once I buff it up and polish it, unfortunately I like to do a sound sample and put it straight back in the case and hopefully not ever see it again because that means it's got a scratch or something on it. Um, but I love the sound of my instruments, so I think they sound really good. So the hand rod burst, um, if you spray a sunburst, it, it covers up the, the grain and you can spray a light burst, but a, a usual spray burst covers up the grain. A hand rod burst really defines the grain, it, it brings it out more, makes it more punchy and even in the darkest areas you can still very, very easily see the grain for the figure. Um, it doesn't cover up anything, it's, it's not trying to hide uh, imperfection in the wood, which is kind of the stigma that a sprayed burst has. And there's certainly some, some companies do use a sprayed sunburst to cover up wood imperfections, especially, you know, back in the day, you know, 1930s and stuff, but they're like the, the really dark bursts and stuff. Uh, but these, you know, really custom hand rub bursts, they're, they're the opposite of that. They don't hide anything, they, they, uh, they show up everything. If there's an imperfection in the wood, you're going to see it more with a hand rub burst. So don't let uh, mockers of the sunburst fool you. Um, also, I've heard it said that sunburst some bursted instruments have thicker finishes. <coughs> they might have maybe two or three coats more, but that's two or three coats is nothing. It's, it's a, just a silly statement. Um, some of the factory poly finishes would be a lot thicker, but um, you know, all factory poly finishes are. When you're getting into the high-end hand-built stuff like this, don't worry about thick finishes. That's just not nothing to worry about. Uh, I think that's all that I have to say on this and my rant about sunburst finishes. Uh, and the side sound plot, it doesn't change the tone, it doesn't affect anything, it's just makes the the instrument sound a bit louder to the player. It doesn't take away, it doesn't seem to take away any uh, anything that's projecting outwards this way towards the audience or the listener. Mm -hmm. 